film is called Lotsman, and the tagline's The Key to Success. And for the synopsis, our main character, called Tyler, is living on the streets due to a troubled youth when someone called Marcus Levitt, who's a professional burglar, offers to take him under his wing as a criminal. And after months of working as a duo in crime, um, Tyler becomes greedy and decides that he's not earning enough money through burglary, so he decides to become hitman. And Marcus is against the idea because he's not, he's done it in the past and he decided it was, um, made him go into a bad position. So their friendship deteriorates and Tyler eventually becomes a well-known and dangerous criminal and ends up having a lot of people after him. So after this, um, he realises that he's pretty much ruined his life and goes out and kills Marcus because he's pretty much gone mad and decides that it's all his fault that he's become this murdering person. So Marcus gets killed and um, after a while, gangs start, um, well, it's kind of already happened, but a lot of gangs come after him and decide to make him ruin, like ruin him, and he ends up back on the streets. And this all happens within one year, so the date that he is taken under, um, he ends up back on the street the next year. So, yeah. <laughs> So, in our trailer, we start off with our main character in when he's quite, you know, wealthy. He's, you know, he's quite a well-known criminal. He's got, he's got a nice suit on. He's quite a high-flying criminal, and he's a. Uh, there's a bit of kind of a voiceover in the background of him telling us kind of how he's got there. You know, the fact that he's you now a bit of like a, like a lone road kind of guy. Um, yeah, just a couple of like shots of him walking down, quite up music in the background. He throws some money to a, a tramp, it then freezes the f of just uh, the main character. I don't know how to do this, but it then rewinds and the tramp is actually him a few years earlier. And then we kind of go back to that point. Then we're introduced to Marcus and then we kind of, after this we have kind of quite a few kind of fast paced kind of classic British crime kind of scenes of uh, you know robbing, uh, Marcus teaching this guy how to kind of become the wealthy guy he is. Um, and it kind of yeah, goes on from there. Then we see kind of we see it kind of yeah, the emotional side of it, it kind of breaks down a bit, their relationship breaks down. And what the audience doesn't see is the end of the film where he kind of completely loses everything and gets back on the streets. We we the trailer ends of him on his own. He's you know got rid of this guy Mark because he thinks he can do it all himself. And then obviously the actual film would be his kind of decline. After that. Um, the equilibrium of our film, although it's not chronologically accurate to the storyline of our trailer, is um, basically Tyler has lived on the streets, he's had a very hard upbringing, it's implied that he's been in an abusive kind of home with drug abusive parents. And this is when he meets Marcus when he's living on the streets a few years later, who just who sees something in, in him that reminds him of himself, decides to take him onto his wing. The disruption is due, due to his dis, like deprived upbringing, he becomes very power and money hungry and decides that the pickpocketing and the burglaring isn't enough. And he decides to basically become a hitman, which as you know, Marcus doesn't want. And at this point, he becomes a successful Chris, like businessman, but doing crime. And the new equilibrium is committing these crimes and becoming more and more power hungry. And while it's staying with her, he ends up having a lot of enemies, a lot of criminal gangs, like not on his side. He hasn't made any allies, so he just ends up being turned into the police. And he also loses his one ally he had, which is Marcus. So that happens. <coughs> Um, for our characterisation, um, the two main characters, um, the main character is Tyler Goldie Locksman, and he's 23 and homeless, but growing up, he grew up in a broken home with dangerous drug abusing parents, and left school with no qualifications, and he has little success of getting work. So, um, 
from that he has kind of taken up drugs and alcohol himself and has problems with that for his life and becoming a criminal hasn't really helped so that's why he becomes into the position he has and um, he before Marcus picked him up it was it's kind of shown that his life wasn't really going anywhere until he met him and then Marcus Levitt who's 41 um, is quite a well-known criminal but he's not really like he doesn't really have any enemies because he has quite a lot of respect from most people which is why when Tyler kills Marcus a lot of people are after him um, and in his earlier work he starts off as a burglar and then tries being a hitman for a while like Tyler did but he decided it was the wrong choice for him and he went back to burglaring and he's really against killing people doing <coughs> a really bad crime which is why Tyler and Marcus don't get on after that point and um, he picks up Tyler because as he said he reminds him of himself and he's not usually a very, he doesn't, he's not a very trusting person, so it's quite unusual for him to trust um, Tyler like that. But obviously his trust gets betrayed and he realises why he doesn't trust criminals, usually.